First of all, congratulations. Thank you. Um, a few years ago, a uh, tennis expert said that you are a great talent. Now Which you tennis showed expert? It. What? Which tennis expert? Well, a few of them. Okay. Yeah. And uh, now you showed it. Uh, what took you so long? <laughs> <laughs> Can I also, I'm sure you get asked this every time this year, but do you not feel a little like the best player in the world right now? You don't feel like number one? No. No, no. I feel like uh, number two, because I am... <laughs> <laughs> I am number two. <laughs> and closer to the number three than the number one. <laughs> the last Latvian player who reached a French Open final was very, very rich. Are you rich too? Do you have a lot of money? Who was who that? Gubis. He Sem hasn't semi, reached the semi, final. Semi. semi. <laughs> That's a funny question. <laughs> so, Azarenka, um, were you surprised that Azarenka was pregnant and did you even. <laughs> Did you even know that she had, you know, someone to be pregnant with? A boy. Uh, <laughs> I was surprised, like I think most people were. Don't really have anything else to say about it. Okay. <laughs> You're on record as saying that if Kim goes into labor, you'll go straight home. What happens if that's between, say, the semi-final and final? Uh, um, the same thing would happen. <laughs> Um, and Nadal, congratulations on your win, and I would like to know how do you feel after the game and if you're ready to give it another try. I lost, by the way. Yeah, I know, but, it's, and, uh, but... It's, a, it's a win anyway. When you threw the racket, does it concern you that one day that, that could cost you dearly? I mean, if the ball were to hit someone today, is that something you think you ought to address? <laughs> you guys are unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it unbelievable? Yeah, because you're always picking this kind of things. It's it's well, incredible. You keep doing these things. You know, that's, that's I, I keep doing these things. Well, well, that, saying, why why, why don't I get suspended then? I'm saying you're close, aren't you? That's what I'm saying. I'm you're close. Now, if you're I'm still not ball, suspended, if so ball, if I'm not close, I'm not close. It could have been serious. It could have been sure, or it could have snow. It could have been snow in all two arena today, but it didn't. It didn't. So you don't think that gives a uh, you're not concerned about the sort of your mindset. So I'm the only player that shows his frustration on the court, right? That's what you want to say. That's the, I'm the only player that is showing that. No, you are that is showing that. So Sorry? You're one, the, you're one of the top ranked players in the world. So? So, so you, know, you are showing this frustration. I'm asking you, do you think it's an issue for you? It is not an issue for me. It's not the first time that I did it. Oh, no. right. Next question, please. Sorry, very profound question. Who's your favorite athlete who uses a mouthpiece? I like Mike Tyson. I'm guessing boxers have mouthpieces now. How about a non-boxer? Well, you want me to answer what you want to hear or what the actual answer is? C congratulations. Uh, um, congratulations. I lost. You lost? Yes. Oh, okay. So what what happened out there? Are you serious? No. Uh, did, did you watch the match? No, I, I didn't. I was told that you won. I'm sorry. Uh, okay, en français, s'il vous plaît being back in these cities and, um, and waking up in Rome and waking up in Madrid and I don't know, I'm, I'm a happy person. Even without a boyfriend, you can just like go around. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> that would be nice. Is it? <laughs> it would be nice? Okay. <laughs> For you. <laughs> Are you married? <laughs> I got the question by the media that they said that my press conferences were kind of boring and, uh, you know, that I always gave the same answers. But, uh, you know, I find it quite, you know, funny because I always get the same question. So I'm just going to start. I know what you're going to ask me already. Maria Kirilenko, thank you so much for being with us. Now, I want to talk to you about style, about fashion, about good looks. Now. The majority of people watching you on the tour would say you are one of the most attractive women players in tennis. Really? Oh, absolutely, for sure. <laughs> what do you think makes somebody attractive? Oh, well, it's tough to say. You have to ask my parents. <laughs> I don't know what to answer to you. 
So when you wake up in the morning, do you look like the way you're looking right now? Pretty. You just walked off a tennis court and you're looking pretty darn stylish. You know, I just finished my practice and I'm a little bit wet, you know, and normally when I'm waking up, I'm not wet. <laughs> That's the difference. <laughs> well, what about Igor? Do you tell him what to wear? Whom? I you. Do you tell Igor what to wear? Um, well, I don't want to answer on this question. Okay. Well, I don't think you know if my confidence is low or not. But, well, I, w I would have guessed that perhaps, perhaps it is, but you're, you're telling me it is not. I just don't think that you should phrase the question that way. Right, okay. Um, l let me just phrase a question then. Um, Chris, Chris has Everett's a, a tennis expert, and, and, and I'm not. Um, she says that Andre Agassi sort of stepped down to a, a lower level of tournaments. Is that perhaps something that you think you might do? Um, it helped him. Can I just try this again? Are you sorry? I'm no, you're being a bit too. I mean, I mean, this is like, am I talking about this match or what am I talking about? Sorry, I was only out trying to ask questions like they asked in the press conference. Okay. Well, do you want to ask me? Right. Okay. Well, what would you think was a good starting question then? Because I'm. You No, you, you know, you're asking a question and okay. you're already giving an answer. You know, you're right. saying that my confidence is low, and then you just said, "You lost today. What? How was your day?" Obviously, my day, you know, I lost. All, all right. Well, I, I was just interested in the in the press conference. They they asked you some good questions. They were asking you things like, "Do you think you're doing sort of too many co commercials?" That sort of thing. I thought that was a good question. Um, do you think it distracts from your tennis? I mean, no. are you prepared to? Uh, to answer that, you, not at all. I don't think it distracts me from my no. Tennis, no. Helen, hey, you're on TV, and w tell us where you're from. Hi, Tavares. What country? Scotland. And how long did it take you to get down here? Four hours. And team. how big of an athlete in Scotland is Andy Murray? One billion? Me? Big, big, yeah. Billion? Is the best? This is going to be, this will be my mountain, shortly. You speak English up in Scotland, right? No, I speak Scottish. English, no. <laughs> I speak Scottish. And tell me, for the last 15 years, seven times a British male has lost in the semi-final, disappointing this Henman Hill and thousands and millions watching TV. Can Andy Murray do it this year? Yes, because I'm here especially. The good omen. You get a ticket for Wimbledon. I'll not be here at the final, but I'm here. And can not to know when, so I'll be at Henman Mountain shortly. And this is the first time in 40 years you've been able to come here? I'll tell you how I got a ticket. My Quickly, son, Helen. My son had two daughters. And he made them go to the tennis club, so they're eligible for tickets. So they got a the ticket, they apply for tickets, and can they give it to me? I'll tell you what, there's actually a lot of Scots out here on a <laughs> packed Henman Hill. Hannah, did you understand any of that? Pam, I, I think you were asking Serena why she wasn't smiling and in her usual upbeat mood. Um, it's 11.30. I don't, to be perfectly honest with you, I don't want to be here. Uh, to be perfectly honest with you, I don't want to be here. Uh, I just want to be in bed right now and I have to wake up early to practice. And, and I don't want to answer any of these questions. And you guys keep asking me the same questions. So it's, uh, it's not really, you're not making it super enjoyable. But. <laughs> just being honest. <laughs> Is it about Venus again? Is it about Venus again? Do you think Djokovic would be as dominant or even more dominant that you have been having him no great opponents in the future? Okay, but you gotta be careful how you phrase the question. You don't want to be rude to the other players because you gotta face them. I don't have to face them. Yeah, I don't ask them stupid questions like that. Um, I think there's a lot of good players on the tour. I tell you that. Uh, let me quote: Sherpa was like a tea bag. Put her tea bag. Judy Murray. And 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 Smart. Okay. Okay, Murray. We just Judy Murray. Well, 
let me quote uh, Sherpola. Uh, let me quote Ju Judy's tweet. Sherpola is like a tea bag. Put her into hot water, and you'll find out how strong she is. People usually call you a fighter. How about you being a tea bag? Uh, can you explain that to me? You, you, you don't drink. You don't drink tea. We don't tea, tea bag into hot water. And I'm a big tea drinker, but I don't understand what you mean. <laughs> mean just mean how strong it, you you are. Okay. Um, that's great. Uh, she's very creative. <laughs> I guess she could have put it many different ways. And she she chose the English version. <laughs> has that a, 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 a fighter and tea bag you, you can relate to I think, this. It, I think it's better to ask her than me obviously she has a better sense of what's going on out there <laughs>